Greetings, YouTube. Last September, a six-year-old suffering a medical issue um, had a tantrum at school. A full-blown, screaming, flailing, aggressive tantrum. Six-year-olds are known to do that. Um, and unfortunately, the six-year-old in question uh, kicked and punched an adult, a teacher, a teaching assistant. You don't want to know what happened to that kid? Six-year-old kid, a little girl. She was zip-tied, her hands zip-tied behind her back and put into a squad car. She was arrested by police. A six-year-old. Does anyone want to guess what color the skin of that little girl was? Come on, this is America. You tell me. What color was she? Yeah, that's right. She's a little black girl. Six years old. Now, the two officers involved, one was exonerated because he repeatedly called, like, his commanding officer and said, what the heck's going on? What do we do in this situation? And the commanding officer did not reply. Apparently, there is a uh, Florida law stating that anyone under the age of 12 um, or 12 and under, they have to get a watch supervisor involved in the arrest, and that wasn't what happened. So at least there is some kind of a policy involved um, that that could have stopped this in its track, but it wasn't followed. What a shocker. Um, and the other cop that actually did the arrest, he's been terminated. So at least there is something immediately that came out of this. And I really hope that the family in question has a nice lawyer because I hope they sue the living shit out of the school system for allowing this to happen. Because um, there were more, more than one adult in this building, or even two adults. There were principals involved. There were vice principals, there were teachers, there were teaching assistants, all of whom are supposed to be professionals when it comes to dealing with children, no matter how upset that kid is. You need to deal with them as a six-year-old. In this particular case, they knew she was dealing with sleep apnea, a condition that can really screw with your perception of the world around you and your ability to function in it for an adult, let alone for a six-year-old. Keep hammering that one. Six-year-old. Now, we know that in um, Western society, people often assume that black children are older than they are. And that holds true for both black boys and black girls. They assume that um, black kids are usually anywhere between three and five years older than their actual age. So when an 11-year-old does something, people often assume of make the assumption this person is 14 or 15 years old, when in actuality, they're 11. And in this case, they arrested a six-year-old because apparently this cop thought that he could reason with a six-year-old the way he could reason with someone who was nine or 10, whose cognitive abilities are far more superior to those of a six-year-old. Um, it's even worse when you get a little bit older because people make assumptions about black girls having more knowledge of the world around them. They're hardened. They're, they're more used to the, the, the harshness of life. This is all just racist tropes that have been hammered into the heads of the Western world to the point where they have been absorbed by the black community itself. Even the black community often views black children as older than their actual age. They've done the studies. Um, so this is just horrible. We've ingrained this level of racism into the point where it's beginning. It's, 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 it's infected the people themselves who are being affected by the racism. And in this case, it led to a six-year-old girl being zip-tied and put into a police car. Now, no one pursued charges against this kid. But she still has some kind of a record on with the state. There's still a record in place, and because she's a juvenile, no one will discuss what that record contains. And she's still suffering nightmares. I'm hoping she's in therapy, because she deserves it. I'm hoping she also gets the medical attention she needs to help deal with the sleep apnea. But this wouldn't have happened to a little white girl. They would have cut the little white girl a whole hell of a lot more slack than the little black girl. Because that's what we do in America. We give white people passes on things 
that get black people killed. I mean, I just found out about this case just, just recently, even though it happened in September. Because there are so many cases like this in America of blatant racism in society and racism out of the police that it's hard to keep track of them, which is terrifyingly sad. And I'm glad one cop got terminated and I'm glad the other cop tried to do the right thing. But they arrested a six-year-old kid. Six years old.